What's up, everybody? Welcome to a special edition of Orange University Commander Legend Boulders Gay. Not really, actually, collector box. All right, so I finally got it. I feel like I might as well just open one. You know, this uh, second video of the week, sort of. But uh, it will kind of help me feel better about the last box I opened. Uh, thinking back on, you know, uh, opening that box and everything, uh, and I didn't really realize it at the time. Again, zero land cycles. Holy hell, how do I keep pulling this off? All right, it's just, they usually put about three to four lands per box, and I keep getting these boxes that have zero lands. So let's, let's see if this happens again on this collector box. If it does, somebody at Wizard will have to answer my wrath. I'm gonna send them a strongly worded letter about how ripped off I feel. All right, so anyways, collector box, 12 booster packs, much better than the 18 booster packs you get from a set box, honestly. But all right, so let's hopefully I get something good in these boxes or these packs, or I'll be pretty upset. Uh, the spoilers for Double Master did come out, so that that's kind of fun. Uh, those, those cards are insane. I can't believe they put all of those in one set and not expect everyone to buy off all those boxes. Hopefully we get some Double Masters in this uh, mysterious misprint thing. And all that, that would be pretty nice. Alright, here's some commons. Here's an uncommon mystery key. And then we got swamp. Foil swamp. And cloak off the bat. I, I didn't actually get that many foil um, dungeon book or whatever these are called uh, in the uh, dungeon monster manual. I think that's what they're called. On the uh, set booster. So, you know, hopefully we can go pull some good ones in this set. Or uh, in this box. And we got OG the Exquisite Blaze. That's our etch foil. Um, I don't know how many H4 we get a collector booster pack, so we'll find out, but it's not the best, not the worst. It is something. I'm going to put the edge aside, and then we got the Ravenloft Adventure. All right, when it enters the battlefield, take initiative. If a creature opponent control will die, exile it and put it a hit counter on it, and then you can, when it attacks, if you complete a dungeon, if any player lose one life, for each card you have, uh, that they have that is exiled with a hit counter. All right, so basically all of that is kind of pointless, but the one sort of caveat to this, or the one good thing about this is when opponents are here, you exile it. So that's, it's something, it's not nothing. And then we got the uh, Abol, Abolith spawn. I don't know what it is, but it's got probing Talapashi. Whenever a creature enters the battlefield under the opponent's control, causes a trigger ability, uh, you may copy that ability and choose a new, also it's copying your opponent's trigger. So. It's something. And we got our first mythic, Pack Weapon. All right, as long as Pack Weapon is attached to a creature, you don't lose the game by having zero or less life. Whenever a good creature attacks, draw a card and reveal it. That creature gives him plus X plus X, where X is his mana, and the equip is a discard card. So, eh, that, that ability is pretty cool. You, know, you don't lose a game for having zero life. That's that's an added bonus, but it does cost four. So that's that's a little something. Might be hard to get. And then we got, oh, okay, this is our second edge foil. This is our edge foil rare. Uh, the last one was a... Uh, Uncommon. Uh, that, that's a real word. Uh, Dina here, uh, Dina Air, I, I hope that's how you pronounce it, Invoker Adept. That's our Jeskai commander of the set. Uh, you may activate, uh, uh, you may activate abilities of other creatures you control as though those creatures have haste. So not giving them haste, just be able to activate abilities. But also other. So other, that hurts, right? Why not just uh, itself too? Tap whenever uh, next ability, or I guess it already has haste, that doesn't matter. Whenever next ability activates this turn, by spending four or more mana to activate it, you can copy that ability. So, a very big build around, but probably a fun commander. Jeskai is a good color combo, so I'm, I'm seeing good things about this. I'm going to put the edge foils over there. And then we got the Mozzie True Paladin, True True Sword Paladin. Whenever enchant creature attacks one of your opponent, it gets plus two plus zero, and gains trample. Whenever aura you control is put in the graveyard, uh, exile it until the end of the turn. You may cast that card. So, if an aura dies, you basically can do it. You can play it again. That's that's a pretty good aura ability. Oh, and then we got the owl. The owl is funny, right? It's uh, one with mama's coming. All right, and then we got a devil token that is a treasure. I do appreciate how the centering is a lot better than the streets of New Capanna set. So, there's that going, which is nice. All right, first pack, one mythic, no land cycle, um, no dragons either. 
All right, so we got this Box R Dragon. I hope that it, that's actually a car. I'm not sure. I haven't seen a car like that. But that looks like a pretty cool dragon. I do want to get that. Uh, not this dragon. Del Delhi Dispute. I did not know that was in this set. This is a very good car. Everybody should run this car in their deck if they have black. It's just an amazing ability. And as we're playing, here is Kaga Shadow Arch Druid. We got, uh, we got this before. It's the Arc Arc Baduit. All right, and then we got our Etch Foil Uncommon, which is a Rosella Rail Kingpin. Uh, I'm not going to read all that ability, but here is an Etch Foil Uncommon. Uh, Mer Merkel, Lord of Bones. That, that's a good rare, I guess. And now, uh, here's our second Mythic of the box. Clan Crafter. Background, two, sack an artifact, put some sign counter on this creature and draw a card. Background's really not that good. Honestly, in my opinion, background's not that good. Because you have to put that with a monocolor commander. And maybe maybe something's going to come out and make them amazing. But right now, I just I don't like it. Sculpted Sunburst. Here's our Etch Rare. Uh, the Baal Lord of Murder. I have a Lord of Murder. So there's other, like, Dukes of Murder. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, so it's got the lore ability. So Half-Life Indestructible. And when a number of creatures dies, plus one and gold. Well, it's pretty fun. Gold is always fun. All right, here's our uh, second mythic of this pack, third mythic of the box. Carla can read that Arvinus. Whenever you attack, if it's a first combat, untap all creature, they gain a second strike. Or they gain a first strike. <laughs> second strike, that's funny. And an additional combat face, and you can choose a background. Not good. Uh, I don't like it. You get two combat and most. It's not like... Uh, it's just if it's the first combat, not if it's the first time this ability triggered. So if, even if you blink this somehow, you still only get one combat, which I mean, not not that good. But I guess it's not abusable, so maybe you will like it. Reflecting Pool. Borderless, foil, full, all the, uh, you know, all, all, the, all the works. Pretty good. Love it. Uh, not a land cycle, but it definitely is a land I can appreciate. So I'm going to count that. <laughs> we got the Berserk Sapling. Always creepy, and then got treasure. Also, still centered pretty well. The centering left, right, okay. Maybe, maybe wizard heard me about New Capanna, and I doubt it. They probably heard someone complaining about New Capanna though. Those centering on the tokens were, were awful. They were absolutely awful. And we got goggles of the night. And someone comments. Here's a here's a land. A foil mar uh, marble diamond. So yeah, like I mentioned, I really like these foil uh, storybook R version of the diamonds. Not the other storybook, but I, at least for these, you know, I do like the the, the diamond cycle, I guess that's what it's called. And then we got the foil etch, the Sion Alabaster. We already got that in the set, so I don't care about that. Uh, Bang Lord of Darkness. Uh, it's like the fifth or sixth Bang now. Just off two boxes. Stick together. I guess the bangs are sticking together. I think this is a pretty fun car in a, in a party deck. You know, you choose a party. Uh, each player choose a party and then just sacrifice the rest. It's not destroy the rest, so it does go through indestructibles. And, you know, if you have a party deck, that's probably something you put in there. Ravenhall Adventure again. Uh, the foil etch is the Noble Heritage background. Uh, plus one, two plus one plus one. And then you gain protection from that creature. So, or from that player. Will build... A blade of Frontier. Again, choose a background. I just don't like choose a background as a mechanic. I think it's a very novel idea, but they only put it on like dirt worthless cards. So there's that. All right, and we got foil at not etch uh, foil storybook or uh, rule book. I forgot what it's called again. Uh, foil ultra art version of the Nine Fingers. If I make a gate deck, she he is going to be the commander for sure. Pretty cool commander, honestly. Uh, pretty cool ability. <laughs> I like the war pay nine life. Like, I know it's EDH and you have 40 life, but pay nine life hurts. So yeah, that's something. Not a mythic though. And then we got Under City. So third pack, no mythic. So that is uh, unfortunate. Fourth pack, we're gonna get some Avenging Hunters. All right, Avenging Hunters gonna avenge their way to the junk pile. Let's look at what this gate does. All right, so there's a new gate. Uh, gates you control into the battlefield untapped. Wow. And then you can add one mana of any color that a gate you could produce. Whoa. That's a really good card for an uncommon. 
I mean, it's only good for gate decks, I guess. But hey, gate decks all the rage now. There's a lot of uh, search uh, abilities in green. And there's a few that actually search for gates. So this might be something. All right, Decadent Endless Water. Uncommon. All right, our ed first etch is the Arenas Gloom Stalker. Choose a background. Don't care. All right, and then we have Wrathful Red Dragon. Not the dragon we want, but the dragon that we deserve. Whenever a dragon you control is dealt damage, it deals damage damage to a target that isn't a dragon. It, it's something? I don't know. I don't see it being that useful. Harper Recruiter. Uh, as another recruiter, uh, whenever it attacks, look at the top four cards of your library. You may reveal a cleric who wrote some party. And put that card into your hand. Put the rest to the bottom. Oh, not good. It's attack. If it's ETB, maybe. But it's attack. And then we got Ascend from Arvanus. Return all creature and planeswalker with converted mana cost X. So this is... Uh, the, the black uh, MDFC land, but white, and you can return Planeswalkers also. Yeah, it's something. I don't know, it's not a land, so I don't think it's that good. All right, we got our etch is the uh, J Jahira, Friend of the Forest. I know it's a friend of the forest, but can you at least be a forest? Human Elf Druid, not a forest. Dry Arbor is a forest. Uh, <laughs> the tokens you control have tap out of, out of green mana. So yeah, it's something. Uh, I know it's monocolor, and I've been bashing monocolor and choose a background. This is probably the best one. This is this a this ability is amazing. This ability is all your tokens now can add green. So treasure tokens, food tokens, clue tokens, they can all do that. That's amazing. That ability is insane. And mythic uh, number four, vexing puzzle box. This is actually a fun ability. Basically, every time you roll a uh, die, you can put that much charge counter equal to the die's result. And then you can tap and add a mana, but every time you do, you roll a d20. So then once you get to 100 charge counter, you can remove it and search your lobby for an artifact card. Put that card into the battlefield, not in your hand, battlefield. So all that together, good ability. Uh, Jahira's Respite. Though this is the card that was winning me the pre-con or the pre-release. Basically, you can uh, it's a fog, right? You can also search for lands equal to the number of players that's attacking you or num number of creatures that's attacking you. And so you can ramp and fog. And if you have some sort of blink and recycled ability, you can ramp and fog every turn. That's pretty annoying. And Fairy Dragon. Wasn't there a card called Fairy Dragon? That uh, does something? I don't even remember. The, uh, the one that gets plus one, plus one for every instant and sorcery you play? I think it's called a Fairy Dragon. Anyways. Uh, pack number five. Alright, still no land cycles, amazingly. Um... It would be something if we pull every card except the playing cycle or the land cycles. But yeah, we didn't pull every card either. Uh, Mathira, Merciless Soul, something. Some lady with the with, with, with bread shop. Corliss, Scale Singer. I think I already have one. Exactly in Edge Foil. And then we got Basculus Caller. Oh, I, I, this is my promo card from a pre release. I can't believe they reprinted Basculus Caller and just dropped this price down to basically nothing. All right, from the catacombs, tar uh, put target courage creature card from a graveyard onto the battlefield under your control with a corpse counter on it. It takes initiative, or you take the initiative. If that creature will leave the battlefield, exile it and in uh, instead of putting it anywhere else. I don't actually know how that works. It says instead of putting it anywhere else. Does that take precedence over, uh, over commander and command zone? We got to find out. I got to read about this. All right, so, hey, number one. So, uh, land cycle, Sea of the Cloud, Borderless, beautiful, love it, Azorius color, probably sticking in my Azorius deck, piss people off, but yeah, number one in the land cycle, loving it. Alright, Raphael can dance this music too, so he's gonna go over there. Uh, a Jansen Chaos Crafter, uh, haste, tap, an ar uh, tap, sack an artifact, create two treasure tokens, or artifact creature, create two treasure tokens. And sacrifice an non-creature artifact. You can to create two one one Carlos construct. Oh my god, this car is amazing. I mean, like, just look at that ability. It's you can use that second ability to create treasure, which is needed for the or the first ability, which is needed for the second ability, and then you can create one one creatures, which is need, needed to, for the first ability. And, but every time you create, it's two. So you have any way to untap this guy, that just goes infinite. That's This is an insane ability. 
And it's, well, it's not blue, so you can't really abuse it that much, but it's still white. White has some artifact fetches. All right, and then we got Zavolo, uh, El Turo, Exile. Yeah, those aren't even words. I think they're just, uh, you know, slam their head on a keyboard. All right, Haste, two tap. Whenever next time you cast an instant or sorcery spell that targets a single opponent. Oh, this is the one where it targets globally instead of a single. Oh, and they missed a word that says only target a single opponent, so I can't target more than one. Yeah, and a goat. Goat with a shoe and a treasure. I don't know, which one's more treasure? Uh, goat with a shoe or the actual treasure? I'm going to say goat. All right, finally we got one land cycle. This is like, what? Four packs in of my second box. All right, so here's some shiny things. Another gate. Oh, there's a whole gate cycle in this set. That's a uh, land, uh, or that's one color, and then you can choose another color when it comes into play. So that's helping you get to more than, you know, just the 10, 11 gate that was originally out. So you can make a gate deck and win with Maze End. All right, Gut, True, Soul, Zealot, Sword, Coast, Sailor. Uh, uh, whenever this creature, uh, it's a background, whenever this creature attacks a player, if no opponent has more life, then that creature can be blocked. Uh, Illid, Harvester. This is uh, the one with Adventure. The Adventure part is to tap X uh, a creature they don't want to tap. And then the creature part of it is... When I enter the battlefield, turn any number. Okay, so you flip them face down and make them two twos. Uh, they don't get to actually get to turn face up ever. So that's something. Uh, the Uchin Lon. That's a word, I guess. Uh, it's, a, it's the crab thing. Uh, crab ooze horror. Uh, it's equal to the number of crab ooze and or horror you control. And at the beginning of your end step, exile one target creature card from the graveyard. If you do, you can make a copy of it. So you can keep making this as just a bunch of Uchulon. Uh, don't care anymore. I got the car I actually wanted. Archivist of Ugma. This car is insane. I can't believe they printed this. But if they were printing it, they would do it in white. Just giving all the powers to white. All right, so it's uh, two mana, two, two, flash. Uh, whenever an opponent searches their library, you gain one life and draw a card. So imagine playing with people that has fetch lands. That's already something. Then now imagine if you get to kill their land and make them fetch or tutor. That's again something. In EDH, that th that happens almost all the time. If you get a Ghost Quarter, you got uh, uh, the other one that's not a Ghost Quarter, the Field of Ruins. There's a lot, right? It's just insane. This is so good. I can't believe they bring a card like that. And I can't believe that card is $20. Like, looking at that now, uh, in three, five years, if they don't reprint that, it's going to be like a $100 card. Just insane. All right, and then we got Will Blade of Frontier again. Edge Foil. We got the... Uh, Asteron Decadent, that's the one we got with the Fear and Greed Index. And then the Wind Shaper Planetar. Whenever it enters the battlefield, drink the, or it can enter the battlefield, drink the clear attacker face, and for each attacking creature, you may reselect. So you can make your opponent attack another, another opponent they don't want to. That's kind of fun. And then we got the Ox. Ollie, Ollie, Oxen Free. All right, no land cycles, but we did get a Ugma, so it hit something. Now all you need to do is get that deep gnome, dude. Uh, these packs are actually easier to open than the Kamigawa and the and then the new Kapana one. So that's that's something. All right, so we got the insufferable baluster. Very insufferable indeed. All right, some uncommons, an island, commander, L L Liara Pora, Ta Takur. The Butcher. I feel like I'm trying to read a graduation list. Cloakwood Hermit. All right, at the beginning of your end step, uh, if a creature was put in a graveyard from anywhere, create two tapped 1-1 one, one squirrels. And then we got the Elder Bryn. Uh, Br Elder Brian. Very scary. I wanted to make a Brian deck. Honestly, all the Bryans. Uh, Astro Dragon. Again, not the dragon that we want. All right, so it's got Project Image. When Astro Dragon enters the battlefield, you create two... Create two tokens. There are copies, but there are three, three dragons in addition. So, yeah. Uh, I don't know. It costs too much. It costs like eight. Tomb of Horror Aven Horrors Adventure. I I'm not sure if that picture is supposed to be the tomb or the adventure falling into a tomb. Anyways, when uh, enters the battlefield, you take the initiative. When you cast a second spell, copy it. If you complete a dungeon, copy it twice. Wow. Well, it does cost six, so 
Probably hard to get off. All right, John Iricus, Shatter One. Uh, Elf Wizard, at the beginning of your end step, target opponent gains control of up to one target creature. Uh, and then it's goaded, uh, or it can't be sacrificed, and it's goaded for the rest of the game. When that creature you, whenever a creature you own but don't control attacks, you draw a card. I don't want one of those uh, donate commanders. There's a bunch of those. Lazil, the box art that's no longer a box art. And White Plume Adventure. I don't want you to know what this does. Take the initiative at the beginning of each opponent's upkeep. Untap a creature. Uh, and if you complete a dungeon, untap all creatures. Mm. That's pretty good. But honestly, there, there's a, a, was a drum wheel or something from Kamigawa. That's a three mana that just says untap all creatures on each, each untap phase. Which is that ability, except you don't even need to complete a dungeon. So, hey, strictly better, right? Alright, so now we got Minimus Containment. I feel like I got the constellation price of one land cycle in this entire box. Commons, uncommons, etch foil, fraying line, not that good. Season Dungeoneer. Uh, when it enters, take an initiative. When you attack, target attacking party member, gain protection from creature until uh, uh, until the end of turn it explores. I don't remember what explore does, but I read it as it explodes. So I wish it said that. That would have been a lot better. All right, another owl. And then we got the Foil Edge, Zolo, can read the rest of the word, Exile. All right, so it's, uh, you know, Global Target, all that good stuff. Mirko, Bone, Lord of Bones, and then the Boulder's Gate. So we don't get any land cycles, but we will get Boulder's Gate. That's, I, I don't know. Uh, making a gate deck, you definitely need this in your deck. Very good card. And, and just, it's just a matter of time until they give a land out that's like Urbor uh, for gates. All your lands are gates now, and then can you imagine what that what that will do to this card, Boulder's Gate? Yeah, one can only hope, or not hope. Honestly, that that would that would be broken. Fireball, reprint, flaming fist, still funny to me. All right, tavern brawler. Uh, it's got background plus X plus zero, where X is mana value. Nah, nothing. Uh, and then we got the dragon commander again. Pretty good. Oh, we got another mythic, Baloth, Barotil, Entertainer. I think it's just Entertainer trying to say their name. All right, uh, this is a choose a background again. Uh, commander, creature your opponent control with power less than Barrow power or goaded. Whenever goaded attacking or blocking creature dies, you create a treasure token. That's that's not bad. Uh, this is actually you know if you with the right background, this might work. Then again. It's five mana for a two five might be kind of hard to get it to work so yeah it is it is what it is another reflecting pool pretty good raised by giants uh commander creature are 10 10 and our giants so loki all right and then we got shadow heart dark just a card all right we talked about that last time and then we got the uh dragon commander again but this time in the storybook art and we got volo's journal hex proof whenever you cast a creature spell Note the creature type that hasn't been noted yet, and then Volo does something with it, but it's not said on the journal. So, the journal doesn't do anything. By itself, it's just a token artifact. Alright, we got three packs left. We got one land cycles, bunch of commons, bunch of uncommons, no dragons, dumpster fire... That's what it is. We got Veteran Sojia. Uh, I don't really care. I saw the next card. So yeah. We got Minsk. Minsk and Boo. Timeless Heroes. So it's not the Ultra R version. It's just the regular R version. And it is what it is. It's got all that ability. Pretty good. Uh, and then Spectacular. Spectacular. Spe yeah. Spectacular Showdown. Put a Double Strike. Entire Creature. Then Goat. Double strike counter on target creature, then go each creature that has a double strike counter, put it this way. You can overload it, so you can just go to every creature and just beat everybody down. So that's, that's fun. And another rest by the witch. Oh, look, look at this pack. And then we got Tasha the Witch Queen. And then we got another, this time a foil vexing puzzle box. So that, that's a good pack, right? We got three mythics. Two of those are planeswalkers, and one of them is the puzzle box. 
So I'm not that sad about not pulling a lens cycle from that one pack. But still, one, one lens cycle the entire box. And that's the second box. Jeez Louise. All right, so here's some commons and uncommons. Another uh, diamond. Uh, Kaga, again. The Maha Mahadi. Mahadi em Emporium Master. All right. <laughs> At the end of your turn, create a treasure token for each creature that died this turn. It's something. I mean, uh, in red, black, there's probably better treasure commanders, but it's not a bad ability. And we got Traverse the Outland. Search your library for X, basic lands. You know, again, search search for X isn't that good. Honestly, it costs five. And with five mana, if you're still ramping, you're probably, you know, not going to win. Journey to the Lost City. Uh... At the beginning of your upkeep, exile the top four and then roll a d20. Uh, if you get one to nine, you may play a land. If you get ten to nine, create a two two, and then put a sun's counter on each creature among those cards, or for each creature. Uh, a twenty. Put all permanents exile with journey to the battlefield and sacrifice it. So you can keep doing that. Uh, I guess that's that's you don't want to exile with green. All right, we got the uh, wing shaper planet planetar again. We got the Glunk, the Bestower. Uh, at the beginning of your end step, choose a player. They put a Plum Sun counter on each creature they control. And choose a second player and draw a card. And choose a third player to create two treasure tokens. Uh, I guess you can choose yourself as one of those, but uh, you can't choose yourself for all three. So it's some trick, some politics commander. We got another Raphael. And, oh, finally, a dragon. This is the green one. Ancient Bronze Dragon. All right, well, this is the worst one because all it does is put funds on counters, but at least we got one. And we got a Boo. <laughs> boo is awesome. The best token ever. Look at it. Trample haste. All right, so there's still no land cycles. Last pack. Come on. Big money, big money, no whammy. Probably all the whammies. All right, so <laughs> Predator Imperatus. Meteor Gold. I forgot they reprinted that here. And then we got Ember. Don't want that. Master Chief. Don't want that. Inspiring Leader. Creature tokens you control gets plus two, plus two. Which, I mean, token deck maybe. Another Clutch. Death Kiss. Mirror of the Life Trapping. Another Nine Finger Key. Uh, we got Ball Lord of Murder. And then another Tomb Horror Adventure. That's, that's it. That's it. That's all we get. That's all, folks. All right. So off the edge foils, did we get any mythics there? I don't think so. Off the edge foils, we got yeah, just some rares. Not even that good. N nothing that amazing. Blah blah blah. All right. That's <clears throat> that's all the edge foils we got. But the, for the mythic rares, we got uh, pack weapon. I think we got two puzzle boxes, and then we got an ancient bronze dragon, and then we got Minsk. Uh, huh. I know I had a Tasha. Now I don't know where it went. Oh, there it is. Hiding behind the puzzle box. So, and then we also got Tasha's. So those, those are the um, mythics in the set. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine mythics in the box. That's not that bad. One land cycle. That is terrible. Well, it is what it is. Uh gonna open more next time thank you very much for joining me see you guys next time